Okay, so this is a fan-made cinematic, but it I love this kind of stuff, and especially after we watched the um, Eugenia video, uh, Eugenia Lysa video, uh, with the Elden Ring stuff, I I do want to check out some other fan-made like CGI things, and this one just came out this year. And you guys know me, I've been playing StarCraft for like over 20 years now, so I uh, I love anything StarCraft. <laughs> so let's... God, over 20 years of StarCraft. Damn. <laughs> Crazy. Anyways, let's check this out, because I love this shit. I haven't seen it, I read the comments, they're very positive, so we'll see. After the government of the Valeria, uh, Valerian Manx came to power, Haven came under the protection of the Terran Dominion. However, during these chaotic times, Terran Dominion was forced to deploy a small number of Minotaur-class battlecruisers and older, uh, and older spaceships such as Valkyrie Frigate or Wraith to protect Haven's, the Haven's colony. In 2508, the Protoss Golden Armada attacked the entire, entire Caprulu sector, which was under the mind control of the corrupted Zelnaga. And soon, a Protoss mothership approached the Haven. Oof. Oh, I love the sound effects. Oh, this is sick. This reminds me of Endless Space 2. A little bit. Oh, get wrecked. They're retreating. Oh, shit. You know what this means. You know what that means. see the blast oh no no it's not an invasion it's not an invasion that's that's they're gonna destroy that planet that was cool i just wish that it had um the the planet destroying laser at the end that was awesome though 
Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, in the games, I mean, the Protoss went from system to system, destroying planets that had been infected by the Zerg. That was cool, though. That was good. I like that. Let me see here. Um, although I created this work in a short period of three months, it's a tribute to the people who created the StarCraft series. I also made this work out of uh, work out of my desire for a new installment in the StarCraft series, which currently has an uncertain future. Uh, the story takes place during legacy, the Legacy of the Void timeline, focusing on the on the attack on a Dominion sector by the Golden Armada, which was con which controlled by Amon after the Iyer incident, and depicts uh, the Met of Celadus and Doctor Hansen. Uh, I intentionally balanced the units that appeared in StarCraft 1 and 2. The Void Ray and the Corsair that appear in the story are protected by uh, Kalai Protoss, who received the power of the Void from Amon. Thanks for watching. Oh, okay. All right. So that's what this is for. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Nice. Yeah, that's sick. Three months. Wow, man. That's actually, like, incredible work. Because, like, this person probably also has, like, a real job and shit. I mean, I don't know. I don't actually know, but that was sick. Good job. Here, hold on. For three months, that's great. Independence Day? I haven't seen Independence Day in a long time. <laughs> I had that one on VHS, too. <laughs> Oh, God. All right.